Okay, guys, what's good? So I'm going to give you my prediction for the Dylan Dennis versus Logan Paul fight. Um, you also got KSI versus Tommy Fury tomorrow. Uh, that's the main event. Uh, so this video, I'll give my prediction who I think will win, Dylan Dennis or Logan Paul. So I got, I got to say, I got Logan Paul. I, I, I give him the edge in this fight. And I'll let you. I'll tell you why. So Dylan Dennis, he's not that old. He's only thirty, which that's kind of odd for uh, for a Logan, uh, for a, sorry, a Paul brother to fight a young guy. That's that's usually out of the norm. They usually fight over the hill older people, but or guys with very little, if not if not no experience at all. Which in this case, Dylan Dennis is only thirty, so that's a plus in this fight for Dennis. Um, but the thing that the more research I did, cause I didn't know much about Dylan Dennis going into this fight. I knew he was an MMA guy, but I did more digging into his, his career and he specializes in, uh, jujitsu, Brazilian jujitsu. He's a black belt, got a black belt at 21 years old. He's had a contract with Bellator, a four fight contract. He's only fulfilled two of the fights that he won by submission and, um, so he's a good fighter. The problem is he hasn't fought in four years and he hasn't fulfilled that Bellator contract because of injury. So apparently he had a knee injury that was real bad. He had it worked on. It still wasn't corrected. Then he had another surgery. So that has kept him out for four years apparently. Plus he had the, what do you call it? He had the, the brawl with McGregor Khabib. Remember at the end of the Khabib fight? Um, how... So Khabib uh, choked out McGregor and everyone brawled in the middle of the ring. So Dylan Dennis was in Conor McGregor's corner and he started brawling with Khabib's guys. Or did he hit Khabib? I forget. He was one of the guys involved. So he got suspended for seven months there. Um, so primarily, it's been the injury that's kept him out. Now, I mentioned two things here that this is the reason why I think Logan has the edge and will win the fight. Because... Dylan Dennis is a BJJ. He's a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. He's a ground game guy. Specializes in that. He's not a stand-up guy. Plus, he's been injured for four years on and off. That knee really, really took him out of the game for a couple years. Um, obviously, not the full four years. He does say that um, he's been waiting for this Logan Paul fight for a while now because Logan keeps on telling him that, yeah, I'm going to fight you. But then the WWE got obligations of Logan Paul. Uh kind of kept the fight from happening. So Dylan Dennis has been waiting out until this fight happens with Logan Paul. So he says technically he could have came back to the MMA game by now because he's not injured anymore. But the problem is, know how I mentioned the age thing, how the Paul brothers usually fight someone who's old? Well, in this case, these are the other check boxes they usually do. A guy who has no stand-up game and a guy that's been injured. So he checks both of these boxes. Dylan Dennis has been outside the ring for so long. Plus he's had injuries. And he's not a stand-up guy. He's a he specializes in ground game. Now if this was an MMA fight, Logan Paul would get destroyed. I pick Dylan Dennis all day, 100%. 10 out of 10 times. This is a boxing match though. Dylan Dennis' weakest point is probably his boxing, I'm guessing. Um, I, I don't think he... Uh, he relies on his ground game. He says his submissions will win him fights. So I give Logan Paul the edge just because, sure, Logan Paul got in boxing late, but he has been training just boxing for years now. He's For the last, <clears throat> I don't know, more than five years now, uh, Logan Paul has made it like a, a goal of his to just do boxing matches. He's not doing MMA matches, none of that. He focuses strictly on boxing. Ever since he fought KSI back in like the first time, like, I don't know, that was like over five years ago. So Logan Paul um, has been just focusing strictly just on boxing, even though he got in late, that is his main goal. Whereas Dylan Dennis has always been focusing on everything because his goal was to be an MMA, MMA fighter still. So that's a huge disadvantage for Del Dylan Dennis. But the, the thing is though, I wouldn't say, like I wouldn't give... Uh, Logan Paul like a huge advantage in that department just because like um, Logan Paul did get in boxing late 
So it's not like he's an expert boxer. And plus Dylan Danis has um, the fighting mentality. He's um, he's built to fight, guys. He's he's more of a fighter mentally than Logan Paul is. So that's what he got going for him. But So the reason why I'm picking Logan Paul to win is those reasons. Dylan Danis, the injury out for four years, the ring rust. He's not a stand-up guy. He's a ground guy. Um, I would say those are the reasons why I'm picking Logan. And Logan, like I said, his career path for the last five years or more, it's been boxing. So he's been focusing just boxing. We're in Dylan Danis. This is just a more recent thing, phenomenon that, oh, I'm going to fight Logan Paul for the last, I don't know, maybe a couple years, I guess. When did this get mentioned, guys? I'm not sure, but... Um, that's why I favor Logan. Um, I don't think really the size will matter. People make like Logan Paul's a bit bigger than him, I guess. But I don't think that will matter. I think if anything, the size could hurt Logan in this fight. His gas tank's no good. Um, he's not a boxer, guys. Um, so I'm not fully counting out Dylan Dan in, Danis in this fight. Because he's got that fighter's mentality. He's more... Uh, he was more born to fight than Logan was, that's for sure. The problem is, his he, boxing's not his game. And I know Logan's game is in boxing as well, but at least he's been training boxing probably more than uh, Dylan Danis for the last couple of years, I, I would think, anyway. But I'm going to say Logan by decision. Um, that will be my prediction. I don't think there'll be a knockout. Um... But yeah, we'll see how it goes, guys. Let me know your prediction. Uh, I think the the yeah the things that Dylan's got going for him is just like that fighter's mentality and stuff like that. He'll make it a rough fight, but like I said, he's not. Uh, we're in for probably a, a novice kind of performance by both. Or both of them are not boxers. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what we get though. I hope Dylan wins. I'm going for Dylan Daz, but I, I'm going to go with Logan Paul by decision. So let me know what you guys think. Um, and uh, thanks for watching, guys. This is Triple J Boxing.